welcome students in our last lecture we have seen the very important concept in physical chemistry that of chemical kinetics and i hope you learn more and solve the different problems related to the chemical kinetics now we proceed for the second chapter from our physical chemistry ch331 course that one is investigation of molecular structure in this chapter we consider the points which are show shown in graphics first one introduction molar refraction molar polarization molecular spectroscopy which relates the following three spectroscopic techniques number 1 microwave and or rotational spectroscopy infrared or vibrational rotational spectroscopy and third one is the raman spectroscopy now we proceed for the introductory part from the investigation of molecular structure chapter in the introduction we consider about the molecular structure what is there in molecule you know there are different types of molecules mono atomic molecules di atomic molecules tri atomic molecules tetra atomic molecules and poly atomic molecules in the structure of the molecules we consider the inter atomic distances means the separation distances between the two consecutive atoms also we study the spatial arrangement spatial arrangement means the arrangement of atoms ions or molecules in that compound in the space in the space means three dimensional structure that's why we consider their spatial arrangement we also study in the molecular structure the bond angle and which can be understood by x ray technique the second one is the strength of bond whether the bond is stronger or weaker nature of the bond means whether the bond is covalent polar ionic or partially polar that can be understood similarly molecular dimensions can be understood in the molecular dimensions means the size of the molecule how small or how big the molecule it may be that can be very easily understood by the molecular structure now how the molecular structure can be investigated there are some simple physical methods which are used to study the structure of simple molecules while that for complex molecules the advances techniques are being used in the investigation of a structure of molecules single method is not sufficient to confirm the structure and that's why more than two methods are used to confirm the structure of molecules along with the physical methods some advanced spectroscopic techniques are also considered and that we discuss in this particular chapter okay now we consider here the very first simple physical property and that is molar refraction and how it is related towards the molecular structure now how the molar refraction term can be understood that we consider 
with these particular different stages or steps. Initially, we introduce the refractive index. Then we consider the specific refraction and then we consider the molar refraction. So we consider initially the refractive index that is by small letter n. Refractive index is represented by small letter n. And this refractive index is given by small n equal to sine of i divided by sine of r. And this is always constant for a particular medium. For a particular medium. That medium contains the different substances, different molecules, chemical substances. So what is this i? Is this angle of incidence and r is angle of refraction. It means this concept can be well understood when we consider the imaginary separation between the rarer medium and denser medium. And when suppose light radiations are allowed to pass from rarer medium towards the denser medium, then the imaginary line of separation between the two mediums, a perpendicular is drawn to it and the angle made by the incident light with the normal in the rarer medium that is I and the angle made with normal by the beam of light in the denser medium is considered as R. So sinusoidal angle of incidence and sinusoidal angle of refraction is accounted and by taking the ratio of these two terms we can get the value of refractive index. This refractive index is the characteristic feature or property of the different substances at that particular different experimental conditions. And by using this particular value of refractive index as it will vary with the temperature and the different experimental conditions, one cannot use this specifically to identify the different molecules and for that the term is generalized in terms of refractive index and it will be considered as specific refraction that is RS. The specific refraction RS is given by Lorange and Lorange equation and it will be given by RS, R suffix S, specific refraction is equal to n square minus 1 upon n square plus 2 into 1 upon d where d is a density of that particular substance or material. D is density. Density is measured in grams per cubic centimeter or grams per milliliter that we know. So this is known term density and this n is the refractive index. This particular term refractive index as is represented by the ratio of sine i to sine r is termed as Snell's law is termed as Snell's law and by using this refractive index the specific refraction for the different chemical compounds can be measured. If we consider that this is the ratio that is the refractive index is the ratio of the two similar terms and that's why this is unitless. This is unitless. When we consider the unit of specific refraction then this term becomes unitless and only the term having a density has its characteristic or specific unit. So reciprocal of density unit is the unit of specific refraction. That's why unit of RS is ml per gram. Reciprocal of density unit that is ml per gram. So this is the more specific term than the refractive index itself. But again, it will not reflect the very characteristic property for the molecules to molecules. And that's why more generalized term one should have to account it. In which we consider molar refraction and that will be represented by 
capital R suffix capital M molar refraction and it will be given by Rm equal to n square minus 1 divided by n square plus 2 plus m upon d m upon d now in the rs this m is not there what is this m is the molecular weight of that particular chemical material or chemical compound or that of molecule so molecular weight is important here in the molar refraction terminology or term and we know the density is mass per unit volume by using it the basic definition this m upon d is the molar volume is the molar volume so m upon d is the molar volume v suffix m as we know this particular term is unitless is the unitless term so the unit of rm is only v suffix m unit that is the unit of volume molar volume and the unit of molar refraction is ml per mole ml per mole and it is also known thing that this molar refraction is more more specific property related towards the different molecules or different chemical substances this molar refraction is found to be additive property now how it is additive property that we consider by considering few data or few examples that how these refraction equivalents for so we have to consider 1.522 and one oxygen is from carbonic group that is c double bond o c double bond o that is from 2.211 so all these values are added together that is 1.522 plus 2.211 plus four times plus four times 1.11 and here two times 2.418 and if we all add these all values together we get the value 12.91 we get the value 12.91 means we get the composition of acetic acid this is just simple molecule that we consider because we know its molecular formula CH3, CO, OH, we know the molecular formula. And by considering this molecular formula, we add these refraction equivalents of these bonds, groups, and atoms together and calculate the value 12.91. Take this particular acetic acid as a liquid. Use the measurement experimental study. That is, in the formula, we know n square minus 1 divided by n square plus 2 into m upon d. We know acetic acid molecular weight density is known you can measure experimentally and refractive index can be measured by using the experimental technique so just by using suppose Abe's refractometer you can measure the refractive index and by using this refractive index n value of the acetic acid that is compound given you can observe the value that is 12.93 so calculated value from the molecular formula and observed value from the acetic acid actually taken for the measurement of refractive index and density we get the very parallel value very similar value very identical value very comparable value and that's why it is found that this calculated value and observed value are very close to each other similarly consider acetone you know the molecular formula of acetone Similarly, consider chloroform, CHCl3. Similarly, you know benzene, C6H6. And according to the molecular formula, their molecular weights, you can calculate by using the atomic refraction equivalents, the value of molar refraction, and also compare these values with that of the observed values. And you will find that the values are more comparable, more identical. And that's why for the simple molecules this method is found to be very useful very useful and one can then confirm the which type of the structure one could assign to the given different substances or molecules so in the summary now we summarize this lecture in the summary we cover the following points 
introductory part that we consider means what is in by the structure or molecular structure what is in by refractive index we consider the snail's law here what is in by specific refraction means we consider the lorange and lorange formulation and we consider the very specific term and that is the molar refraction that is important and also we consider by using the refraction equivalence we prove that this molar refraction is additive property additive means the values of atomic refraction equivalence or bond refraction equivalence they are added together added together to find out the molar refraction of a molecule of a chemical compound and that's why it is called as refraction is molar refraction is additive property now in the next lecture we consider the second physical property that is very again simple and how this second physical property that is dipole moment is suppose useful to study the molecular structure and types of molecules related in that particular topic now today we stop here thank you